Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and AI tutorials. In this AI tutorial, we explain how to integrate OLAMA and locally hosted large language models with N8N framework for development of agents. The integration strategy explained and presented in this video tutorial enables you to develop your own local agents that are running by using your computer hardware. That is, the agents are running locally by using large language models that are hosted and that are executed on your local computer. This strategy has a large number of benefits and the three most important benefits are number one, privacy, namely you're running everything on your local computer. Second of all, cost, you're just using your own computer hardware, you're not paying for external API or for usage of external computation power except the electricity and the hardware that you're using on your local computer. And the third benefit is that you can play with and experiment with a large number of local large language models such as DeepSeek, such as Llama, such as Mistral, such as Phi, etc. Even Dolphin can be used, which is completely uncensored large language model. Before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. First of all, you have to closely follow every step that I will explain in this video tutorial. First of all, I will explain how to install N8N and how to host it locally. Then I will explain how to install Olama and how to host it locally. And you have to precisely follow these steps. That is, do not try to install, for example, N8N or Olama by using Docker containers. The approach presented in this video tutorial will not work. I'm saying this because some viewers of this channel sometimes follow but sometimes do not follow steps in a video tutorial namely they follow first 10 steps and they then they start to diverge and of course if you follow that strategy everything explained in this video tutorial will not work that is from the start until the end you have to follow every step for presentation clarity and in order to explain how to integrate Olama with N8N, I constructed a simple example. This is a basic AI agent that will use Olama and Wikipedia to answer the user questions. Olama is actually running Llama 3.2 large language models, which is a very small large language model and it can be even executed on computers with CPU. That is, you don't need to have a powerful GPU. And here is a brief demonstration. Over here, the AI agent receives the user chat and here is the chat window. For example, we can ask something like this. Find me an article about Alexander the Great and return me the Wikipedia link. Okay, so after I enter this chat, what will happen? The agent will work and you'll see what will happen. Then now Wikipedia is working and here it is. The Wikipedia article about Alexander the Great is available here and you can open up this in a web browser and you can see that indeed this is the article we are searching for. So if you click here, here is the article. Now, what's happening behind the scene? This agent has as a tool Wikipedia. That is, it's able to completely access Wikipedia database and to search Wikipedia. And Olama chat model is used to interpret and to understand the user input. So let's start with building this agent. Okay, first we need to install N8N. If you already have N8N on your computer, you can skip this step. To install N8N, you first need to install node.js. And that's super easy. Just go to this web page, node.js.org, go to EN for English and click here, download, and node.js installation will be downloaded. Open it up, click here, and just click on next accept everything, click on next, select this folder, use the default settings, and over here I suggest that you click to automatically install the necessary tools, click on next, and click on install, and that would be it. Now here you have to be patient until everything is installed. 
and over here you will see the installation progress, copying new files, and after everything is completed, a new window will pop up, you will see this screen, press any key twice, and additional tools will be installed over here, actually in another PowerShell window, and that's it. Over here, I already installed a bunch of tools, so I don't need to do this. Good. Next, we need to install NA10 by using NPM. To do that, click here, search for command prompt, open the command prompt. Over here, I'm going to resize this command prompt such that you can see this manual over here. So let's first verify that NPM can be executed. Here it is. If you see something like this, this means that NPM works. And to install N8N, simply type NPM, then install N8N, and then dash G for global and bang. And this command will install N8N. Over here, you need to be patient since it's going to take a while to install N8N. Of course, depending on how fast is your system. And after some time, you will see this success message over here. This means that you have installed N8N. Next, let's start N8N. And this is super easy. You just need to type this in. N8N and then start. Let's copy this. Let's paste this and bang. Here we are. Now, what will happen first time you run it, there will be several configuration files that will be created. And over here, you will see this message. Editor is now accessible by this local host. So what is this local host? This local host is just address that you need to access in your web browser. There are several ways to do that. You can press control and click over here and it will be automatically opened. Or you can simply copy this, do the right mouse click, go over here, paste and bang, it's going to start. Now, since we are using NA10 for first time, over here you need to enter your email, first name, last name and password, that is you need to register. And over here, you need to optionally select this. After you do this, an email will be sent to your email address where you have to click on that email and you will get automatically a license. So let me now type this, my first name, last name, and over here I'm going to set a password and click on next. And then over here, just fill in this thing and or you can just skip and then send me a free license key and the license key will be sent to your email address then go to that address and activate that license after your license is activated you will be returned to this window that is another session will start so close the original session and let's start from this session go here the settings and before we start implementing our first agent, let's install Olama. To install Olama, open a new web browser and then over here go to the olama.com website. You spell it with two L, O L L A M A dot com. And over here, click on download, click on Windows, and download on Windows. And this will start the download process, and here you need to be patient. And after Olama is downloaded, let's install Olama. Let's go to the downloads folder and let's run the setup file over here. And installation is straightforward. We just need to click on install and this will do the whole trick. Click here and just wait. After Olama is installed, if you click here, you will see this cute icon. This means that Olama is running in the background. However, the best strategy to verify that Olama is running is to open another command prompt, click here, and then over here type Olama. And if you see this general response, this means that Olama is properly installed and working. Okay. The next step is to download the Olama model. Namely, we need to download and locally host a large language model. So let's go back to the Olama website. And over here, you have several models that you can play with. In this video tutorial, I'm going to download and install Llama 
2. This is a relatively small model that can even be executed on CPUs. So most likely you will be able to run this model independently of how powerful is your computer. So first of all, search here LLAMA, that is double LAMA, and then search 3.2. Click here, click on the first link, and over here, let's select the model, make sure that this model is selected, and over here, this installation command will be generated. Copy this command, go back to terminal, and don't execute it immediately. Instead of run, over here, simply type pull, and this will just download the model. Later on, we're going to test the model by running it. And after some time, you will see the success message. And then let's test the model. To test the model over here, let's type Olama first list to see the model. Here it is. And then let's type Olama run. And then let's paste the name of the model. Here it is. Paste it here and bang. Let's now wait for the model to open. The model is loaded. And let's ask, who are you? And let's see the answer. And here it is. Good. Let's exit the model by pressing Ctrl D and we are out. Now, before we continue, we have to verify that Olama can be recognized by entering an address in our web browser. This is very important for verifying that Olama is running on a local host. First of all, let's verify this address. Go to the web browser, type this, and you should see this message. Olama is running. Let's close this and let's verify the second address. And this is the most important address that's necessary to properly set up Olama in 8n, 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 sorry. So let me copy this. Let me go here and let me paste this. And if you see Olama is running, this is good. Good. Now we can go back to workflows. That is, we can go to N, 8N, and we can start with modeling. So let's click here on, to start from scratch. After clicking here, a new window will pop up. And over here, we need to create our chat block. To create the chat block, simply click over here, and this window will pop up. Click on chat message over here click on back to canvas just to select the basic options and we are all set good next we need to add our ai agent to do that click here and search for ai agent here it is click on the ai agent for the time being let's keep the default options just click on back to canvas and you will notice that the ai agent is automatically connected to our chat. Now, over here, we need to adjust several things. The first thing that we need to adjust is the chat model. So click here and search over here for Olama. And you'll see Olama chat model. Click on the Olama chat model, then click on select credential, click on create new credentials. And here's the issue. Namely, this local host will not work. And to see that if you now click on save and if you click on retry you will see this message could not connect with these settings so the issue over here is that you shouldn't use this address instead you should use the address over here so i'm going to copy this address then i will go over here and i'm going to paste this address and here it is let's save and you'll see now it becomes green click on retry and we can access the olama model now if you click here wait for a while or click again and over here select the model make sure that it's llama 3.2 3b on the other hand if you have other models you will play you can actually select them over here good this is the first step so let's go back to canvas let's save the workflow and let's go to the next step next we need to provide the memory for our ai agent so what is a memory well AI agent should memorize and should understand what we talked previously. For example, if you ask a question, who is the largest or what is the largest city in the world? And the agent will reply to you, I don't know, it's probably Tokyo or I don't know, maybe New Delhi. And then if you ask next time, what's the population? 
Well, the AI agent should remember that you asked a question about Delhi and should refer to Delhi and should give you the population of Delhi. So that's the idea. And that's enabled by selecting the memory. That is, click on the memory, select the basic memory, and keep these default options. We will remember five past interactions. And the next step is to select the tool. Simply click here, and over here we are going to search Wikipedia. And that's it. So let's use the basic settings and here we are. So that's basically it. Nothing more than this. We are all set. Next, to run the model, simply save everything, then open a chat and la let's ask the question. Are you working? And let's see what's happening. Bang. And you can see something is rolling here. Yes, it looks like I'm working properly. How can I assist you? Okay, let's now look at this and let's test the Wikipedia. Give me the most popular, the most popular article on Wikipedia and send me the link. So let's ask this bank and you can see now Wikipedia is working, blah, blah, blah. List of common surnames. Uh -huh. Most popular article is list of the co most common surnames. Mm, very interesting. So you can see that the link will not be sent. It seems I can provide you with the link to Wikipedia articles directly. However, I can provide you with the title of the most popular article. So that's an issue over here. Actually, it's working. So let me ask something like this. Give me a link of the Wikipedia Wikipedia article about Alexander, Alexander, Alexander the Great, Alexander the Great. Okay, so there is one issue over here and I'll explain how to solve. So let me see if the issue is. No, the issue is not present. However, let me show you one more thing. If you click here on the AI agent, a good strategy over here is to add the option and to provide a system message. You're a helpful assistant that uses Wikipedia to answer questions. So let's be more precise and then back to Canvas. That says let's save and let's ask again how large, how many articles Wikipedia Wikipedia has. I misspelled it, but I deliberately did it. So let's see. Let's see how many articles Wikipedia has. And you can see the answers, etc. Okay, so basically that's it. So however you can see the, the context, it somehow this system remembers what we asked previously. Okay, so that's all for today. And just one small comment. Over here, I suggest that you use a more powerful model since this small model might not be the best option. This model is just for demonstration. You can use a larger Llama or you can even use DeepSea. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.